The Book of Zechariah Zechariah Chapter 1 In the eighth month of the second year of Darius, the word of the Lord came to the prophet Zechariah, son of Berechiah, the son of Edo. The Lord was very angry with your ancestors. Therefore tell the people this is what the Lord Almighty says. Return to me, declares the Lord Almighty, and I will return to you, says the Lord Almighty. Do not be like your ancestors, to whom the earlier prophets proclaimed, this is what the Lord Almighty says, turn from your evil ways and your evil practices. But they would not listen or pay attention to me, declares the Lord. Where are your ancestors now? And the prophets, do they live for ever? But did not my words and my decrees which I commanded my servants, the prophets, overtake your ancestors? Then they repented and said, The Lord Almighty has done to us what our ways and practices deserve, just as he determined to do. On the twenty-fourth day of the eleventh month, the month of Shebat, in the second year of Darius, the word of the Lord came to the prophet Zechariah, son of Berechiah, the son of Iddo. During the night I had a vision, and there before me was a man mounted on a red horse. He was standing among the myrtle trees in a ravine. Behind him were red, brown, and white horses. I asked, What are these, my lord? The angel who was talking with me answered, I will show you what they are. Then the man standing among the myrtle trees explained, they are the ones the Lord has sent to go throughout the earth. And they reported to the angel of the Lord who was standing among the myrtle trees, We have gone throughout the earth and found the whole earth at rest and in peace. Then the angel of the Lord said, Lord Almighty, how long will you withhold mercy from Jerusalem and from the towns of Judah, which you have been angry with these seventy years? So the Lord spoke kind and comforting words to the angel who talked with me. Then the angel who was speaking to me said, Proclaim this word. This is what the Lord Almighty says. I am very jealous for Jerusalem and Zion, and I am very angry with the nations that feel secure. I was only a little angry, but they went too far with the punishment. Therefore this is what the Lord says. I will return to Jerusalem with mercy, and there my house will be rebuilt, and the measuring line will be stretched out over Jerusalem, declares the Lord Almighty. Proclaim further, this is what the Lord Almighty says, My towns will again overflow with prosperity, and the Lord will again comfort Zion and choose Jerusalem. Then I looked up, and there before me were four horns, I asked the angel who was speaking to me, What are these? He answered me, These are the horns that scattered Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. Then the Lord showed me four craftsmen. I asked, What are these coming to do? He answered, These are the horns that scattered Judah, so that no one could raise their head. But the craftsmen have come to terrify them, and throw down these horns of the nations, who lifted up their horns against the land of Judah to scatter its people. Zechariah chapter 2 Then I looked up, and there before me was a man with a measuring line in his hand. I asked, Where are you going? He answered me, To measure Jerusalem, to find out how wide and how long it is. While the angel who was speaking to me was leaving, another angel came to meet him and said to him, Run! Tell that young man, Jerusalem will be a city without walls, because of the great number of people and animals in it, and I myself will be a wall of fire around it, declares the Lord, and I will be its glory within. Come, come, flee from the land of the north, declares the Lord, for I have scattered you to the four winds of heaven, declares the Lord. Come, Zion! Escape you who live in daughter Babylon. For this is what the Lord Almighty says. After the glorious one has sent me against the nations that have plundered you, for whoever touches you touches the apple of his eye, I will surely raise my hand against them, 
so that their slaves will plunder them. Then you will know that the Lord Almighty has sent me. Shout and be glad, daughter Zion, for I am coming, and I will live among you, declares the Lord. Many nations will be joined with the Lord in that day, and will become my people. I will live among you, and you will know that the Lord Almighty has sent me to you. The Lord will inherit Judah as his portion in the Holy Land, and will again choose Jerusalem. Be still before the Lord, all mankind, because he has roused himself from his holy dwelling. Revelation chapter 18 After this, I saw another angel coming down from heaven. He had great authority, and the earth was illuminated by his splendor. With a mighty voice he shouted, Fallen! Fallen is Babylon the Great. She has become a dwelling for demons and a haunt for every impure spirit, a haunt for every unclean bird, a haunt for every unclean and detestable animal, for all the nations have drunk the maddening wine of her adulteries. The kings of the earth committed adultery with her, and the merchants of the earth grew rich from her excessive luxuries. Then I heard another voice from heaven say, Come out of her, my people, so that you will not share in her sins, so that you will not receive any of her plagues, for her sins are piled up to heaven and God has remembered her crimes. Give back to her as she has given. Pay her back double for what she has done. Pour her a double portion from her own cup. Give her as much torment and grief as the glory and luxury she gave herself. In her heart she boasts, I sit enthroned as queen, I am not a widow, I will never mourn. Therefore, in one day her plagues will overtake her, death, mourning, and famine. She will be consumed by fire, for mighty is the Lord God who judges her. When the kings of the earth who committed adultery with her and shared her luxury see the smoke of her burning, they will weep and mourn over her. Terrified at her torment, they will stand far off and cry, Woe! Woe to you, great city, you mighty city of Babylon! In one hour your doom has come. The merchants of the earth will weep and mourn over her because no one buys their cargoes any more. Cargoes of gold, silver, precious stones and pearls, fine linen, purple, silk and scarlet cloth, every sort of citron wood and articles of every kind made of ivory, costly wood, bronze, iron and marble, cargoes of cinnamon and spice, of incense, myrrh and frankincense, of wine and olive oil, of fine flour and wheat, cattle and sheep, horses and carriages, and human beings sold as slaves. They will say, The fruit you longed for is gone from you. All your luxury and splendor have vanished, never to be recovered. The merchants who sold these things and gained their wealth from her will stand far off, terrified at her torment. They will weep and mourn and cry out, Woe, woe to you, great city! dressed in fine linen, purple and scarlet, and glittering with gold, precious stones and pearls. In one hour such great wealth has been brought to ruin. Every sea captain and all who travel by ship, the sailors and all who earn their living from the sea, will stand far off. When they see the smoke of her burning, they will exclaim, Was there ever a city like this great city? They will throw dust on their heads, and with weeping and mourning cry out, Woe, woe to you, great city, where all who had ships on the sea became rich through her wealth. In one hour she has been brought to ruin. Rejoice over her, you heavens. Rejoice, you people of God. Rejoice, apostles and prophets. For God has judged her with the judgment she imposed on you. Then a mighty angel 
picked up a boulder, the size of a large millstone, and threw it into the sea, and said, With such violence, the great city of Babylon will be thrown down, never to be found again. The music of harpists and musicians, pipers and trumpeters will never be heard in you again, nor worker of any trade will ever be found in you again. The sound of a millstone will never be heard in you again. The light of a lamp will never shine in you again. The voice of bridegroom and bride will never be heard in you again. Your merchants were the world's important people. By your magic spell, all the nations were led astray. In her was found the blood of prophets and of God's holy people, of all who have been slaughtered on the earth. Psalm 150 Praise the Lord. Praise God in His sanctuary. Praise Him in His mighty heavens. Praise Him for His acts of power. Praise Him for His surpassing greatness. Praise Him with the sounding of the trumpet. Praise Him with the harp and lyre. Praise Him with tambourine and dancing. Praise Him with the strings and pipe. Praise Him with the clash of cymbals. Praise Him with resounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Proverbs chapter 5 My son, Pay attention to my wisdom. Turn your ear to my words of insight, that you may maintain discretion and your lips may preserve knowledge. For the lips of the adulterous woman drip honey, and her speech is smoother than oil, but in the end she is bitter as gall, sharp as a double-edged sword. Her feet go down to death, her steps lead straight to the grave. She gives no thought to the way of life, her paths wander aimlessly, but she does not know it. Now then, my sons, listen to me. Do not turn aside from what I say. Keep to a path far from her. Do not go near the door of her house, lest you lose your honour to others and your dignity to one who is cruel, lest strangers feast on your wealth and your toil enrich the house of another. At the end of your life, you will groan when your flesh and body are spent. You will say, How I hated discipline, how my heart spurned correction. I would not obey my teachers or turn my ear to my instructors, and I was soon in serious trouble in the assembly of God's people. Drink water from your own cistern, running water from your own well. Should your springs overflow in the streets, your streams of water in the public squares? Let them be yours alone, never to be shared with strangers. May your fountain be blessed, and may you rejoice in the wife of your youth. A loving doe, a graceful deer, may her breasts satisfy you always. May you ever be intoxicated with her love. Why, my son, be intoxicated with another man's wife? Why embrace the bosom of a wayward woman? For your ways are in full view of the Lord, and he examines all your paths. The evil deeds of the wicked ensnare them. The cords of their sins hold them fast. For lack of discipline they will die, led astray by their own great folly.